What's going on guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today we have another Z170 motherboard. This one comes from MSI and it's their Z170A SLI Plus. So let's go ahead and take a look. The Z170A SLI Plus comes in a pretty unassuming retail box here. You can just see on the front, it says Z170A SLI Plus, and that is pretty much it. Now, if you flip around to the back, there is quite a lot of information back here. It gives you, you know, a lot of information on the board itself. So again, if you are at the store and you see this rather unassuming box, you can kind of flip it over and, you know, see what it's all about. But I know you guys just want me to open this. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll do it this way. So the first thing um, we do have is our motherboard in an anti-static bag to protect it, obviously. So we'll move that out of the way and we'll go to our accessories here. So that stuff's usually on the bottom here. And we have our media sample qualifications. You won't get this. This just shows that the board was tested and all of that. Um, but in here we have a bag or two bags of SATA cables and um, it looks like there's yeah two cables in each bag so you have a total of four cables four SATA cables you have your SLI connector of course this is an SLI certified motherboard so <clears throat> so you do have your SLI connector we have your IO shield and this one it's kind of hard to see because it's in the bag still but it is black uh, to match the board, which is kind of nice. So you have that. You have Intel motherboard driver and utility. So this is your driver and utility CD. Um, as I always try to stress to everybody watching these videos, go to MSI's website and download the latest drivers. By the time you get this, everything on the CD is gonna be outdated and who uses CDs anyways, right? So uh, yeah, go ahead and go to MSI's website. We have a quick installation guide that's gonna show you how to install uh, your processor, your memory, all that kind of stuff on here. And then we have a thank you. Uh, so they have a thank you and it says to register the product. So go ahead, once you get your motherboard, go ahead and register it and it shows you instructions how to do that. And then finally, we have our user's guide, big user's guide in here um, that pretty much tells you everything and how to get everything set up. Taking a first look at the motherboard itself, this is an ATX motherboard, and I'm really not sure if the video is gonna do it as much justice, but this board is all blacked out. So we have a completely matte black PCB, and all of the three heat sinks that are on the board itself are all matte black as well. You have the larger one here on the PCH, and then you have the two up here covering your power delivery components. So starting at the CPU socket, this of course is the Intel LGA 1150 socket, and that's gonna support the latest Intel Skylake processors. Around there, of course, we have our power delivery components, and this makes use of MSI's military class components, so you know you're gonna have components that are gonna last a while and be pretty stable as well. Covering those, of course, as I said, we have our two matte black heat sinks, and then up top right here, we do have our eight pin EPS power, and then on this side, we have a four pin CPU fan connector. Now, weird thing on this motherboard, there's not an optional CPU fan head or something that we typically see is just not on this board. Moving over to the far end of the motherboard, we have our four DDR4 DIMM slots, and this supports memory up to 3600 megahertz, which is quite high. We have two more fan headers, four pin fan headers right here. We have our 24 pin ATX power connection, and then we have a USB 3.0 header. As we move down the board, there is a second USB 3.0 header and it's set at a 90 degree angle. There are one, two, three, four, five, and six SATA six gig ports. And as you can see, this set and this set are set at 90 degree angles and these two are facing straight up. At the bottom of the board is where you're gonna find the rest of the headers that are actually on the board. So we have our two sets of front panel headers. Those of course are for the front panel connections that are on your case. We have two USB 2.0 headers, Thunderbolt header, TPM header, parallel port header, COM port header, another four pin fan header, and your HD audio connections. Moving on to our expansion slots, we have one, two, three, 
PCI Express 3.0 X16 slots, and then we have one, two, three PCI Express 3.0 X1 slots. Now, the way the X16 slots will work is if you have one card installed, say right here, it is going to run at X16 speeds. Now, if you have two cards installed, they are gonna run at X8 and X8, and then if you have all three slots populated, they will run at X8, X8, and X4. There is also a M.2 slot right here, and that's PCI Express 3.0 X4, so that is 32 gigabits a second. And then finally, we do have another four pin fan header right here. On the far end of the board, we do have a custom audio solution, which is MSI's Audio Boost Audio Solution. And this is based on the Realtek ALC 1150 codec. You can see we have complete PCB isolation, and I do believe that this will light up when we have the motherboard powered on. Finally, we're on to the rear I.O. We have two PS2 ports, one for your keyboard and one for your mouse. VGA out, DVI out. We have a USB 3.1 port, and as you can see, this uses the Type-C connector. We have two USB 3.1 ports, and those use the Type-A connector. HDMI, two USB 2.0 ports, Gigabit Ethernet, and our HD audio connections. So this wraps it up for our quick unboxing and overview of MSI's Z170A SLI Plus motherboard. Now make sure you check back very soon on thinkcomputers.org as we'll have our full written review. Till next time, catch you guys later.